Hey, hey, everybody, and welcome to the World Tour for Potato Craft Season 1. We're here at Spawn, taking a quick look around. Behind us, we've got the Big Iron Titan up there, which is not currently functional. I'll get to that in a second. Uh, we've got a giant cutlet statue behind us, which is, if I can get in the right mode, that is our cooked chicken farm, which has just a little bit left in it. I think that broke at some point as well. Uh, and lots of feathers over here. So that's the chicken farm. Again, the Iron Titan. Um, let me get up here and get a good view of this. Uh, this is uh, designed by Tango Tech. And uh, this, is, this was probably the fourth one I've built on servers, somewhere around there. And uh, it provided us with a ton of iron. Um, we started this world on 1.8, and once we moved to 1.9, there was a, a change in how the villager stuff works. So it, it broke this, and I never got around to, fin uh, to fixing it. Uh, but as we can go check some of these chests, there is plenty left over, you know, that it wasn't really necessary to, uh, to fix it. As you can see, we're still... All of those chests are filled to the brim. So that guy pumped out a ton of iron. And I think next up we've got our little server admin shack. This was Jason's little build here. Um, it was basically off limits to anybody that wasn't mod. And we'd like to trap people in here from time to time. Uh, a couple of uh, random shenanigans in here. We've got in your face Corey's head and a few other random bits. Baster's head. Some fun stuff happened here, and of course the jungle tree on top, typical Jason. Uh, next up, we've got our little rail cart here, and this actually heads over to the arena area that had a bunch of mini games in it. So this kind of cut through here, and the biggest one, obviously, that stands out is Dick Dick Stadium. Uh, this is where we played Golem Ball. Let me just pop down here, so you'd get off the rail, you'd pop up through here. Uh, you got your red team over there, you got your blue team over here. Uh, let's see, bum 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 bum. So you'd grab your armor, you'd step through here. These would put you in the proper modes. You've got adventure mode for everything here, so you can't actually destroy anything which is especially useful if you wanted to break some glass or whatever. Um, how this worked, basically there's a lever in each corner goal, and when both of those were selected, uh, it would start the game. And there's a ton of command blocks just below the surface here. I think there was somewhere in the in the 30-something, 30 35 command blocks, I believe. I think that's about right, that powered this whole thing. Um, it, it did get a bit on the laggy side for some of our, our players, but it, it, was, uh, it was a really fun game to play. Uh, the other part of the stadium was the suites. Everybody on the server got their own suite to decorate. Here's Jason's. He had a little hot tub area. Uh, let's see, whose is this? This is Shricklematz. A very simple couch design. Uh, let's see, this is, uh, looks like Dan's. Another little couch with a little table there. And some paintings and little iron shenanigans going on there. Let's see, do you have anything in his chest? Ooh, a bunch of iron. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, over here we've got John Mann's little redstone. What's the sign say? Hey guys, John Man here. Good luck and GG. I'm AFK because of lag. Yep, as, as I mentioned earlier, there was quite a bit of lag for a few of our viewers. Let's see. Next up, we have Dirt Man. He's got a, a little kitchen area uh, with a cooler with a ton of chicken in it. No wonder there were, we were such uh, short supplies over there. And it looks like a one-seater little couch there. Uh, this one, it looks like two people have uh, joined forces, so that's Haunted Secret and Lucario Girl. And there's a an iron golem in here, and a little table in the center. 
Renee claims this side. So they've, they've got a shared bed and a little garden. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, don't break this lava warning. Aha. Uh -huh. Why is there lava there, I wonder? Anyway, uh, let's see. Let's head up a level. Let's see who is on the upper level up here. Did we ever get anybody up here? It doesn't appear so. So let's go back down. Um, let's see. This one is my lovely room, which I totally got around to decorating. Uh, I used invisible blocks, as you can see. The sign is decorative. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, Jason left me a nice little message. Uh, these these bigger suites were reserved for mods and crew, seeing as how they were a little bit bigger, and we get a little view into the goal area. Uh, this one, I believe, is Funky's. Yep, that is correct. Funky didn't do a whole lot in her own area, but as you can see, she kind of merged over with Sally and Wizzy. And they got a little cat, a fountain... Uh, some potatoes, a tribute to the Hobros, um, and the pig painting. That's pretty cool. So, Sally, Wizzy, and Funky sharing a triple bed. Sally's random stuff. So I got some armor in there, some cookies. Alright, let's see. Next up, not a whole lot going on here. It looks like the whole historic site suite where uh, the ready blew shit up incident. So it looks like that's what's remaining after the blowing of shit. Uh, let's see here. Golem sweet suit sweet only golems. Okay, so they got their own suite there. That's cool, cool. Uh, Twenty two fish do not enter unless you have gills. Well, that's probably because it's pretty much all underwater. Except for this one little spot in the corner where you could uh, breathe and watch the game. And Scrub Baster's room. Uh, it looks like he's got some sort of dropper system. Looks like it shoots potatoes at you. Let's give it a little tester here. So, yep, it just shoots potatoes at you. <laughs> Silly Baster. All right, and last but not least, we have Titus, who went with a simple design of just uh, some carpet. And then he's got a ladder going up to the roof, it looks like, where we have a bunch of... Uh, this side looks like it's all Minecrafters, uh, YouTubers. And then I believe the other side, we went with players on our server. So you can take a look at those guys. Looks like a couple of them are missing heads. I'm not sure what happened there. But, uh, let's see. I saw Titus also had a ladder that went down. I'm not sure what he's doing down there, but that's not really important. So that's basically it for... Oops, that's not quite it. We had one more thing to show off here in the stadium. It was down here at the end. We had the concession area. We had, uh, Jason had a little lamb serving lamb chops for only 12 easy payments of $69.96. Just the tip jar. <laughs> uh, Dirt Man's drinks, pink lemonade, grape soda, and fruit punch. You got funky fish, fish tacos, salmon cakes, and fish sticks. Kevin's bacon, fresh pork chop, potato with bacon, and bacon soup. Uh, Dick Dick Desserts, Cookies, The Lie, I believe that's cake, and Pumpkin Pie, uh, Dick Dick Stadium merch featuring mini iron golems and player heads, or Chicken Kitchen, Fried Chicken, Chicken on a Stick, and Tofu Chicken. So that's it for the concession area. Now we head out over... We made a little bit of a, a bridge here. This little white building is something that Baster was going to do, but he never got around to doing it. He was going to build a, uh, I believe this was supposed to be a death run in Minecraft, but uh, you can blame Baster for never, never getting back on to work on this at all. Um, so if we follow this path down here, we've got our... Um, our boat cart track, 
let's go ahead and pop in here and this is best played in F5 mode so we just go around the track uh, I think we had uh, I believe three to four players going at a time uh, when we did these races uh, I think we did it on stream once or twice I don't remember it, it, it took some getting used to for sure uh, getting used to how these boats glide and slide around on the ice but this was a ton of fun uh, let's see and let me get back to this mode over here we've got um, an unfinished project by Jason uh, the, the object of this game was you would fall down through the lava and there uh, there would always be um, one little square that didn't have the water here, so you would burn and die. So it's basically trying to figure out which hole you should jump through in order to survive through the water. And the goal is to make it all the way down to the bottom, which is how far down is this? All the way to bedrock. And then, yep, there's one spot available for safety down there. So that was Jason's minigame that never got, uh, I don't think it ever got completed. And uh, I think that pretty much concludes everything that was over here. That's a, just a bit of testing left over. So let's get on and jump to some user builds. So I think the first thing that should be mentioned is one of the first little areas on the server. As you can see, it's right here at spawn. It's been ransacked a bit since then, but this was the original night one safety area. And this goes down to the mine shaft. I believe this is still the original bed that was used. Um, it looks like just a couple of blocks are missing in the door. But other than that, this is where I believe Wizzy and Funky spent their first nights on the server. I'm not sure if this stuff was from night one or not, but uh, yep, good old night one hidey hole. So next on the list is another one that's relatively close to spawn. This is Lord Lovecraft's castle. And uh, it's actually changed quite a bit since I last uh, came over to it. It looks like, I think this was a prank done by Wizzy and Selly and probably Funky uh, as a welcome back present for Lord Lovecraft. Uh, they changed all of his walls and things to the rainbow wool. Uh, I believe this sign used to say something about leaving the spawn chunks because he was literally like right on the border of where you weren't allowed to build so if he had been one block further he would have been in trouble but all is well all is well so he's got a, a massive little wheat farm up there some potatoes and carrots uh half-eaten cake a little tower of hay I, I never understood what this was for but uh i believe this is how you get into it there's a cat in here, that's probably Wizzy's. I don't think there was anything up here, but yep, obviously everything's covered in multicolored wool. Uh, this is the, the lag fest area where, uh, <laughs> let's see, stop letting the bunnies out. Accurate count of rabbits held at all times, no bunny laundering. So there's just so many bunnies here, it was ridiculous. I think the cat's standing guard. So bunnies, he's got, looks like, almost all the, the kinds of bunnies. A uh, bunch of sheep, a ton of cows, a little chicken farm. Oh, that's an egg farm, it looks like. Not quite cooked chicken. And let's see. And then here's his little courtyard area where he used to have a bunch of ores and things up. There's still a bit left over from that right here, but I think he took most of it down. Um, and then he's got he's got his little smeltery room in here, and all is awesome. Little towers up here. I think this is an enchanting room in here. Uh, I remember donating a bunch of those bookshelves so he could get it all up and running uh, because I needed enchantments. So um, let's see. Next off, we've got this tunnel here, and uh, down here we've got our skeleton spawner. 
This is where most of us came for XP early on in the game before we got our gold farm, which we'll get back to later in the video. So you'd come down here, they'd flip, flick a couple of lever, levers here, so you turn it on, they'd start coming in. Uh, you can toggle it so that they come in for XP. You get a couple of helpers in here. We'll get one in there, or you could toggle it so that it's AFKable just for the bones. They fall down, and then uh, everything comes up and gets sorted out. So let's go ahead and turn that off. And oh, we got one more visitor coming. Good job, buddy. Click the lever, listen and die. Not all the way, though, because we gotta have them be a one hit kill here. So now we just pop in here and. Whoops! Broke it. <laughs> Alright, so yep, we've got. Uh, looks like the bones have been pretty cleared out, and I can show you why in just a moment. What is shooting? That's interesting. Oh well, so let's head back up here and we'll go to where I had my first base just around the corner here. I, I since tore it down and kinda replaced it. Um, so right here, this used to be a sheep pen right here. I had a bunch of pumpkins around here. It looks like some creepers happened. Um, and I had a big building right here, but I've since torn it down. This whole area was hilly. I had to flatten this whole area out. And uh, I replaced it with uh, Kevin's vacation home. Visitors welcome. And I believe I've got a couple of dogs in here. It's a nice little cozy. I'm not sure what happened to that couch, but uh, things happen. Uh, this is like a little fishing dock there. Uh, over here I built a super smelter where you'd put your items you want to smelt in here and then uh, there's five furnaces back there. It'll kind of disperse them all evenly. Uh, I built a new one on our new server that has both an input for what you want smelted as well as as the, uh, the fuel. So uh, that's pretty awesome. And then in here I have my mines and basically nice little area here. I didn't have a safe way to drop down, um, but I just took the mine cart and it was fine. Um, and just kind of get an idea of my mining style. This is kind of the grid pattern that I went through. I just went down four blocks over and then I mine just the top row out there and you you get most of, you know, it's it's relatively lossless as far as, you know, finding diamonds and things. So this is my mining operation. So we're back up to the surface, and if we pop right over here, there's a nice little village that we've kind of taken over. Um, so over here we've got a little villager breeder. Uh, it's got quite a few guys sitting in there waiting to get processed. Uh, what you do is you come up here and just uh, throw food down the hole and they breed to their heart's content. Uh, we pick them out and grab the uh, grab the librarians mostly for their trading. And uh, this place has has seen better days. It, it used to be full to the brim with some really good villagers, but we've had a couple of incidents where they've all bit the dust. So it was starting to get refilled, but didn't quite reach its former glory. And back over from from my little vacation home, we just pop over here, and I believe this was Dirtman's base. So let's hop in the door here. Uh, he's got enchanting. It looks like not a whole lot got finished. He has a little storage room here. Uh, this is kind of a starter base. He's got a bedroom, a Dan sign, Wizzy's bed. You'll see that all over the place. Wizzy puts a bed everywhere she wants. Um, let's see, farms. Nice little farms. Let's see, I can't remember. I thought I put signs in here, but I think he took them down. So that is Dan's area, although what is this over here? Uh, is this just down to his mine? 
Where does this go? It's a dead end, so it looks like he was going to go down to a mine, but didn't quite make it down there. All right, so let's head on over to our next destination. All right, so here we're over at Dan 27272's area. It looks like he had a little witch store for nether and potion needs. Uh, let's see if he had anything in here. He had nether brick fences and slabs. Doesn't look like a whole lot got put in here. Uh, let's see, so he looks like he was selling redstone, lapis, coal, and diamonds. Uh, let's take a look inside. A nice American flag at the entrance. It looks like he's got a little auto brewing system here. You just put the uh, ingredients in there and it crafts them up. Let's see, what was he working on here? Oops. Let me just pop into this mode here. Uh, doesn't look like anything's currently brewing, but it looks like he had just about every um, everything that you could want. And it looks like it was all redstone, so you hit a button and it starts making them. Let's test that out here. I'm not sure if this is what he was doing. So let's go ahead and let's craft a night vision potion. Does that do something? It did. It started the uh, the brewing process. That's pretty cool. I like that. Leaping, fire resistance, swiftness, water breathing, healing, weakness, strength, regeneration, night vision, and uh, poison, along with uh, the extra stuff you can add there. That's pretty cool. So it sounds like it finished that and then it added the carrot. That's that's really awesome. So let's see, we've got a little house here. I think it's just for storage. Uh, yep, looks like it. A little nether wart there. Um, and then down here we've got his little house with the stable. I like this little design for stables where the horse can't really see that there's a way through here. Lestide of Ledan. He's got a bunch of iron golems wandering around here. Let's take a look inside the house. A big uh, skull painting Le Dirtman's sign. Uh, Le Randomly Generated Gamers. Uh, Le Books, Le Others. A lot of Liz, a little trash can there, and it's a pretty cool bedroom. I like the the glass there, and the armor stands. Uh, let make my food. Wizzy's bed, of course. Looks like a little kitchen area here, and the toilet. So a little bathroom. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And Dan's other build he wanted us to show off was his little dojo, his little floating dojo in the sky. It looks like uh, this is for sparring of some sort. And it looks like there's there was going to be some multiple levels to it for a little little fighting room. Let's see, let's see. Yep, he's got supplies that he was using to build. That's Pretty cool little idea. I wish I could have seen uh, what he was going to end up doing with it, but I think he's probably maybe going to be building it on the new server. I'll have to have to talk to him about that. It'd be awesome to see this completed, but unfortunately, he didn't have time by the time the uh, the server was closed. Next up, we've got John Man's little building up here. Looks like he climbed his way up to the top of this mountain. You take the winding staircase up to the top, and all the way up, quite a long way there, to his little house at the top of the hill. I really like this this build here. He's got his, uh, looks like his player head on an armor stand, little brewing station, nothing's brewing at the moment. Um, Wizzy's bed, as you can see, making another appearance. Um, I believe that over there was 22 fishes um, area previously. Um, it's a lot of water, as you can tell from the name, 22 fish. And portal coordinates are marked here. So that's pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, looks like, ooh, actually hadn't been in here. It's just a big uh, hollow area. 
Um, so one more thing we've got to check out while we're here, and let me see if I can find, I believe it's right here that we grab a minecart and take a little ride. So down we go, little roller coaster, down the side of the mountain. So I, I did uh, I did get to see this uh, while the server was still active, and I I thought it was really cool that he uh, he made this roller coaster up the side of the mountain. So down we go through. And I believe there's a jump right here. Yep, there we go. And on to the rest of the track. Is this where it ends? Nope, it looks like it goes down some more. Very slow there, but it looks like we're going to speed up here in a second. I believe this goes underground here in a minute. So, yep, there we go. We're dropping again. Way down. Oh, there's lava. That's not cool. And I believe that's it. Let me just pop back here. Some signs. And that'll do it for John Man's area. Next up, we have a long lost treasure. This is Funky's very first house, where she basically just went straight south into the mesa, made herself a little house here that I never actually got to see because she quickly lost it and was never able to find it again. So let's see what kind of supplies we have in here. A little bit of charcoal, some basic materials. And this place was never seen, I think, after the the, the one day she spent on it. So that's, that's unfortunate, but we did find it, Funky. We found it. <laughs> I, I believe Wizzy was the one that actually tracked this down when we were looking for coordinates to put in this video. So uh, there it is, the long-lost Mesa home. Next on our list is Wizzy's Treehouse. She uh, made this treehouse and it got taken over by signs, it seems. Um, so it just went up here. CBA replacing the door signs. So I have this. Okay, yep, just lots of signs all over the place. Not sure who was behind that prank. I, I knew at one point, but it was yeah, so long ago. Yep, just signs everywhere littering the treehouse, but I really like this design. Um, building into the trees in the jungle. Pretty awesome. Good stuff. And then we've got a uh, bit of uh, farms down here along the side. A uh, little cat down here. A little moss farm right there. Horses down here. And up on the top of the hill, we've got uh, Wizzy's little house here with more signs. Welcome to the Bridge Between Worlds. To the right are the desert and mesa biomes. Right out front is jungle. To the left is a roof forest. And behind the hut is a plains biome. Enjoy your stay. Uh, I will note that uh, it does say a bridge between worlds. Oh, there is one bridge. One bridge, and it is quite quite the bridge up to Redifile's house. Okay, so Reddy's house, nice little glass ceiling, and all of his stuff. Does he have anything underground? Doesn't look like it. I know that uh, Wizzy had something. Yep, Wizzy's hobo bed underground. Uh, I believe there was a sheep farm down here somewhere. Alright, here's the sheep farm. I found it. So lots of multicolored sheep here for lots of shearing. I believe this is what they use to prank Lord Lovecraft with all of that wool. Um, so it's like, yep, it looks like the chests have been emptied. But the sheep, some of them are still sheared, so... It looks like a pretty recent job. Real quick, I wanted to take a, a, a look at the uh, the nether area. So this is the path down over from Wizzy's treehouse area over to spawn. I'm not sure who's uh, 
portal that is. This is the end portal area. And then back up here, we've got the village. Oh, that's my vacation home. This one's the village. Uh, here is spawn. And then one other area I wanted to check out before we moved on was my old base. This was the second time I, I wanted to move. So this is what I had right after my right after my little vacation home. I had a nice little storage area set out and then my plan was to build an underground base here in the center of this lake. But obviously, as you can see, I didn't get all that far. I got a lot of space dug out, but not much else. I think I got distracted by other projects and ended up moving eventually. Um, and real quick before we head out from over here, we've got this horse here, which I believe in memory of Sir Horsington the Grey, who was pushed into a wall. So it looks like Wizzy killed my horse and brought me a new one. So there we go, with a nice little diamond horse armor. So another major project that went on here was emptying up this uh, Guardian Temple Ocean Monument and uh, this one took quite a while, a while to clear out. Uh, I had the help of Selly and a few others um, placing all the sand and getting it all done and ready. Looks like I cleared out all the area for uh, the materials but obviously didn't light it up very well. Um, I think this project got abandoned because at some point there was some of the the files got corrupted and, and the uh, the guardians had stopped spawning. So this place was pretty much useless at that point because uh, the whole reason we were doing this was to create a, a guardian farm for the sea lanterns. But it uh, looks like we had this little guy, he hopped in a boat, and it looks like Selly named him so that he uh, wouldn't run away. So there is the ocean monument. So now we're on to one of Cory's builds, In Your Face Cory. Uh, looks like he kind of built into this mountain. He's got a nice little fountain thing out the front with lava. I think that's supposed to be a face, maybe? Uh, looks like it's crying lava of some sort. And then uh, if we just pop through here, it doesn't look like a whole lot uh, got done in this area here. He's got his little storage and lounge area here. It looks like a TV, a big screen TV. And if we go up here, there's one room up here with a message. It says, here marks the spot where Sally died. She thought it was safe to AFK here, but alas, it was not. An arrow brought her to her end. May she rest in peace. And here we have Corey's other build. It looks like a little swamp hut house. Uh, looks like he's got some storage area down here, a little netherwort farm. He has a couple of other farms over here, it looks like. Uh, some sort of automatic... Um, let's see, is this automatic or do you have to push the button? A, I believe you probably have to push a button for this one. Um, there's the lever right there. So we flip that, everything goes through there. Little farm. It's not quite lossless, but uh, it looks like it's pretty good. They feed into hoppers down there. Uh, some wheat farms. Not sure what this is supposed to be doing. Oh, there it goes. So it's just an auto harvest. Looks like you've got to uh, place it back down yourself. And down to no hoppers there, but that's uh, pretty cool. Good way to quickly harvest everything. Um, looks like some an egg farm there with a little bit of chicken in there. Looks like one of them died, but it uh, looks like that's uh, Corey's second base. So here we are at the area where quite a few people end up uh, hunkering down towards the end of the server. We have Wizzy, I believe. Funky has an area over here. I think this is Lord Lovecraft over there. Uh, and Selly's over there as well. Um, and then I had started a base and once again didn't get very far. Um, so there's that. <laughs> my my third my failed third attempt at a base right there. 
Um, let's pop up here. Obviously, we've got the, the Hobro flag in the middle, the famous flagpole. And then down here, if we press this little button, you come on in here. Uh, fighter sign up and betting. Wizzy's Secret Underground Fight Club. Rule number one, tell everyone about Fight Club. Well, I'm telling everybody. Here's concessions, uh, rotten flesh, blood of your enemies, bucket of tears. And it looks like here we are in here. looks like there's some spectators in the corners there. So this is the Fight Club underneath the flagpole. So it's pretty cool. So if we come down here, I believe this is Funky's house made out of brick. If we just pop through here, we can take a look around. A nice little lounge area, the Hobro sign, bones, a little fireplace going on that's not lit. I think that's a pretty safe idea. Um, Sally's bed and Wizzy's bed, of course, of course. Nice little floral decorations here and I believe this is a little kitchen area back here and then opens up into garden with carrots and potatoes and wheat so it's pretty cool funky and then if we go over across this bridge over to Wizzy's house here down we go hop in the front door and let's see Dog, dog through the wall, cats everywhere, uh, the main fireplace area, huge painting. I'll head upstairs for a second and take a look up here. So, guest room, aka Sally and or Funky sleep here. Nice little cozy guest room, and then uh, another guest room across the way. So... And then if we go downstairs, uh, this painting is uh, hiding a secret. Pop down here. And on this side, we've got her enchanting table and all that good stuff. And then over here, we have all the storage. And I'm going to take all these diamonds. My diamonds. Thief! ha <laughs> ha. So Wizzy's next project was a castle on top of this little hill here. Uh, I guess you could call it a mountain or a cliff. Uh, so a nice little entrance here. You got your enchanted armor stands look really cool. Uh, some nice little towers. Um, so stairways going up the side here. Nice and compact in there. Little viewing area out the side. And I believe this goes up a little bit more. And we've got the roof, which uh, I believe Wizzy did this one, and then I helped design this one here, specifically this side over here, just making it look nice with the rest of it. And then uh, this little wizard hat pointy thing right here with the the W. We, we co-designed that, so it's got to give it props. Uh, let's see, who is this down here? Moldy McDeadface. The resident zombie down here. And then out the side, it looks like this was a path down. Uh, da -da, where is this let out? Out here down to the stable area. So we got the, the four skeleton horses of the apocalypse. We've got war, pestilence, famine, and death. And those are, are fairly common on, on our servers due to the massive amount that they spawn in 1.9. Uh, and we got some farms down there. I'm not sure whose farm that was. I think it might be, it might have been Funky's. So there's, uh, there's Wizzy's little castle in the sky. And one little gem here. We've got Wizzy's swimming pool designed courtesy of Lord. Nice one by, ooh, one by two by one. Fancy. Speaking of Lord, I believe his next creation was right over here. Uh, he's got his little, keeping with his castle theme. Um, not sure how much of this actually got finished, but it looks like he had 
gotten quite a few rooms at least allocated. A nice little smelting room here. I like it. A little lava fountain up top. And uh, yeah, so there's Lord's start to his um, his uh, castle area with a little end fruit, forest fruit farm in there as well. And if we pop over here, last but not least in this area is Selly's Ice Castle. So this was quite a big project for Selly, getting all this compressed ice and, and snow and uh, making it look really cool. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of credit for the, the wall design with the, the V shapes. I think that looks pretty pretty awesome. And it looks like we got a little garden around the center fountain here, which has the uh, the beacons going into the sky. So there's Selly's ice castle. All right, next up on our list, we've got uh, I believe this was Selly's first home. Let me double check down here. Is there still? Yep. So down here is where it all started, I believe, and then down in here was the cave spiders and things. Uh, so this room has gotten a, a big makeover since I've been down here. Some sheep, bunnies, chickens, more sheep, pigs, uh, dying wool. And then you pop up to the upper area. You've got her little house here. We pop in here. I, I like the uh, the birch, the use of birch. I don't see it too often in builds, but I think it looks nice and with the with the combinations here. Ender chests going on, and then a bedroom upstairs. Sally's flower, and Wizzy's room. Of course, Wizzy has a room. And my first hoe, don't touch. I touched it. So let's head back downstairs and out the door. Uh, let's see. This is looks like where she got most of her snow. So that's a little snow farm. And then up here we've got some horse stables. So it looks like Zinnia. This guy doesn't have a name. And I don't think any of the other ones do either. So this is the the stables a la Selly. Oh, there's Kevin's bacon. And Kevin's horse. Alright, so there we go. And what is this down here? I did not see this before. Is this some sort of maze? Or a tree farm, it looks like. Yep, it's a tree farm. I, I like this. This is nice. Nice, uh... It, it, I, you rarely see aesthetic builds on, on farms like this. So that's pretty awesome. So that's going to do it for this world tour of Potato Craft number one. I hope you guys have enjoyed taking a trip down memory lane. But I apologize if uh, if I missed your build on here. Um, I wasn't aware of where everybody was and uh, I, I asked for coordinates. And uh, I did the best I could. But uh, yeah, if, you, if your build wasn't featured on here, I apologize again. And uh, I hope we'll show off your builds on the next one. Or if you uh, weren't on the server, you get to see what we were all up to. Um, I'll do a quick reminder that uh, the server is open to uh, viewers on our channel. All you have to do is watch our, our Twitch channel, which will be in the description below for a minimum of 24 hours. And then you can request access to join our server. Uh, we're currently playing on a 1.10 world that's not amplified. And uh, it's a lot of fun. I highly recommend you come check out our Twitch channel and joining us on Minecraft. But uh, that'll do it for me. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. And I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.